Hi, I'm Chris Cardone. I'm the Northeast United States representative of the Flair Bartenders Association, and I'm going to show you how to do a behind the back to a forearm stall. Now, the forearm kind of takes up all of this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to end up catching it on the back of our forearm here. And so it's not a bad idea to just practice stalling like this just to get comfortable with the actual feel of the stall and actually holding it here. That's part of the battle. Now once you get comfortable with that, the next part is to learn how to actually do the throw and the release. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your bottle that you're practicing with and you're going to bring it around your back. Now I find that you could do it either like this where you pull your arm in and then bring your arm up, but I find it's a little easier to try to throw it between your body and your arm here so that way it's already kind of in position to catch it and let it come up and then you're going to catch it right on your forearm. Now the key to this is to actually have the release and the rotation correctly. So you want to just kind of get used to throwing it and letting it just get comfortable with the throw that it lands flat like this because again it's going to eventually land flat on your arm. Um, another thing that's really important is I find that it takes time for the public to understand what they just saw. So landing it on your arm and letting it fall off really quickly doesn't give the impact that if you keep it up there. So get used to again stalling that bottle like this for a while so that way people can catch up to what they just saw and really be impressed by it. So quickly it looks like this. And that's our forearm stall from behind the back. Thank <laughs> you.